So here we are. This is the main entrance of the building, the church. We've already put some structural beams in. Just gonna like zoom in on these real quick. You know, you got some paralams. These are all originally the um, old timbers, which, you know, whenever I replace the old timbers, I like to just use structural beams because all the old wood had was all old heartwood and just really good species that weren't culled very early in their lifetime. So it had a, a chance to get real big and hard and thick and everything else. So it's able to deal with a lot of stressors more so than I think today's wood is. So you can see all the old beams that we've kind of unearthed, so to speak, and brought out into the opening to uh, after we removed all the plaster, which is in some of the pictures that you can see on the other portions of the website. Um, so anyway, you can see how we opened it up. There's some old knob and tube wiring here. You know, we had to remove that from the existing boards and slide these new LVLs in, and those all go into the, the stonework. Um, this is the last one that we have to put in place over here that's going in today. And you can also see, oh, lighting's a little bit on the messed up side of things, but you can also see the um, a beam that we had to replace. This is the main carrying beam here um, that had to be replaced on the front side. So that's right there. We got another joist to put in, a joist support to put in right there. And so we're going to put all this stuff in. You've got um, main doors are going to be redone, but that's another company is coming going to come in, and I guess they're going to actually refurbish the old doors. We'll show you that later. But for all intents and purposes, all the framework here is going to be redone. Um, years and years, the water is just the worst thing for these churches. So they've got another company that's coming in to handle all the water damage and stuff. But in the meantime, what we're doing... We're putting in, we're gonna frame these walls out. You can see all the headers in this window over here were rotted. So we're gonna replace those. Um, there's a plate right there that's basically mortised right into the building. So that's a permanent fixture. Same with the other side over here. We've got the same thing happening over here. But if you look at these grooves down here, you can look on the internet if you want to, but there's a lot of different reasons why people say that these exist. This right here separation joints all kinds of stuff like that it's not what it is that's just a support for board that goes in as a nailer for the stud framing walls and we're going to put all those in and then we're going to put the new stud walls up and um put everything in place so that we can do the plastering later and the the foam company can come in and do their thing so anyway that's it We've got a few adjustments to make to get everything going you can see where we are, some new electricals getting ready to happen, and um, everything's where everything is. So anyway, like I said, tune in. We're going to put another video out in a little bit so that you can see where we ended up at the end of the day. All right, take it easy.